Listening Library presents They Had a Dream. The Civil Rights Struggle from Frederick Douglass to Marcus Garvey to Martin Luther King Jr. to Malcolm X. By Jules Archer. Read for you by Roscoe Orman. The History of the Black Struggle in America. 1. Since ancient times, racial prejudice has been used to justify slavery. It was the justification in America when the first 20 Africans were imported into Virginia as bound servants in 1619. British writers defended slavery as the backbone and mainspring of British commerce, calling the kidnapped Africans ignoble savages. While slavery flourished openly in American colonies, the possibility of slave revolts was a constant fear. Many colonies forbade blacks to assemble, travel without permission, bear arms, or possess liquor. In Virginia, any master who killed his slave for resisting correction went free on the assumption he would not destroy his own valuable property without just cause. One of the earliest slave revolts took place in New York City in 1712. 8,000 whites owned 2,000 slaves, most of whom were cruelly treated. Gathering secretly after midnight, 23 slaves set fire to a house as a signal to the city's blacks that an uprising had begun. Armed with guns, long knives, and hatchets they had secured from drunken crews in port, they attacked whites, killing nine. The governor's soldiers routed and pursued them. Some trapped slaves turned guns and knives on themselves rather than be captured. Twenty-one were executed. Some hanged, some tortured and broken on the wheel, some burned to death. This cycle of cruel treatment, revolt, and violent suppression would be repeated throughout slavery's existence in America. By 1760, almost half a million slaves were working on southern plantations. Thomas Jefferson himself was a slaveholder who saw no possibility that blacks and whites could ever live together as equals. In 1776, he warned that Americans would one day pay bitterly for having brought the black man to this continent in chains and urged resettling slaves in Africa. His views underwent change four years later, however, when he advocated total emancipation. Some said the reason was his affair with a black slave and their five children. But 1801 was also when a slave insurrection broke out in Virginia, and some 35 black rebels were executed. A gloomy Jefferson prophesied, quote, We are truly to be pitied. I tremble for my country when I reflect that God is just. End of quote. He sought to trouble the conscience of fellow Virginians, by reminding them, quote, One day of American slavery is worse than a thousand years of what we rose in arms to oppose. End of quote. At Jefferson's insistence, Congress passed the act to prohibit the importation of slaves after 1808. This law, however, did not stop an illegal slave traffic. It continued to flourish until the Civil War, earning fat profits for northern shipowners. Slavery also earned huge profits for southern plantation owners, thanks to Eli Whitney's cotton gin, invented in 1793. With the problem of processing the plant solved, the cotton industry grew rapidly, as did the need for slave field hands on the plantations. Significantly, 1793 was also the year Congress passed the first fugitive slave law, levying a $500 fine on anyone attempting to conceal or rescue an escaped slave. But this did nothing to stop slaves' resistance. By 1820, there had been over 250 slave revolts. The largest occurred in 1811, when a slave named Charles led 500 slaves in a revolt at the Andre Sugar Plantation north of New Orleans. After wounding Andre and killing his son, they seized arms 
Sample complete. Ready to continue?